A popular event is back cooking up their best and wants to add another patch to the summer. And tonight's KX Conversation, we have Tessa Sandstrom, who's going to tell us more about the event coming to one local town. Tessa, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Now first, can you tell us where this event is taking place? Uh, we will be in Kildare, North Dakota this year, and we actually started out this event in 2009 with Kildare being one of the first communities, so we're bringing it back full circle. Nice. Awesome. And what can people take away from the event? Uh, we'll have a information session that will just talk about um, oil and gas development, the latest trends. We'll hear from industry experts like Kathy Nessett, Lynn Helms, uh, Martin Stewart from uh, Marathon Oil will be there, along with Justin Kringstead from the Pipeline Authority. Uh, that's from 2 to 4, and then from 4 to 7, we have a free barbecue. We have 19 cookers now, possibly 20. I have another one interested. All free food, uh, just a huge event, games and activities for kids, and then we'll have music by the band Nova, a local Kildare band playing uh, throughout that time as well. And who is this event for and how many people are you expecting this year? Uh, the event is for the community. Uh, it was started to try and bridge and help develop relationships between the industry and uh, community members. And so it's free and open to the public. Uh, like, I met, uh, like I mentioned, a lot of activities for kids, so very family friendly. And um, I think we're expecting, I've heard anywhere from 1,500 to maybe as many as 2,500 people. So always depends on the weather and whether people can get out of the fields and come down for a great event. Right. How big has this event grown from previous years? I know you were expecting 2,500 this year. So uh, just how has it grown overall? Uh, you know, we've always kind of averaged about 1,500 people. It always depends on where we are. You know, we had a great event out in White Shield. I think we we're expecting about 1,500, and I bet we had about 2,000 people just drawing from the area communities. There are some folks who travel two, three hours sometimes every year just to come to it. So when is the event taking place? It will be on Tuesday, July 18th. Um, again, 2, two to 4 o'clock Mountain Time for the education session and 4 to 7 Mountain Time for the barbecue. And what are you guys serving up? I know you mentioned you're going to have a lot of cookers there. Yep, uh, we'll have, um, almost always have a lot of brisket and ribs, pulled pork. I know one is doing sloppy joes and root beer floats, um, some ice cream bars. Um, I haven't, not, not too many share their menus because they're all vying for people's choice and judges' choice okay. as well. So they kind of keep it close to the vest. But Makes sense. see a lot of good barbecue. <laughs> I mean, one year we even had a full roasted pig. So you never know what they're going to pull, pull out um, to serve everybody. You mentioned activities for the kids. What are some of the things that you'll have for them? We'll have a bounce house. The Gateway to Science will bring some of their activities down. And then the Mule Deer Foundation brings their uh, little mobile BB gun range for kids to plink away at. Sounds like a lot of fun. And National Guard will be there with a football toss as well. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Yeah, thank you for having me again.